Mr. Nyati, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I'm told that you're the chairman of uh, Talifa Soccer Academy. Uh, can you please tell us about the academy? When did it start? How many divisions does it have? And what does it seek to, to achieve? Okay, thank you so much. Um, the academy started last year in 2021, the beginning of the year. So it's got all the, all the junior development divisions under 13, 15, 17. Then it's got a senior team as well. So the, the, the academy started last year when we, we, were, we were very much involved in football, but we, we just hadn't assembled ourselves into a proper structure. So we, we did that last year and then we joined the Boxback Central um, Football Association. That's when we started and then we officially... So we've been operating for more than a year now. It's our second year, yeah. Uh, Mr. Nyati, uh, running a, a football club in the amateur ranks is a costly exercise. Mm. Uh, knowing that, what, what made you want to start a football team knowing that uh, the cost it comes at? Yeah, I mean, like all passionate people that are passionate about football, I think it's, it's or probably every amateur football club owner knows that the, 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 the entire process of running a football club is very costly. So it's something that we are aware of and it's something that we, every amateur coach in the country deals with, but we're all passionate about football, so we, we bear the brunt of that because at the end of the day, what we want to see is we want to see football develop and we want to see our young boys succeed. So we, we make a huge sacrifice and make sure that happens. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Nyati, you've recently appointed the uh, former Bafana Bafana mm. and Orlando Pirates captain Mulelo Mabizela. Uh, what was the process to appoint him and why did you go for him? Yeah, so it, it was quite a long process to, to actually get him on board. And it, it, didn't, it, took, it took a while because we had to court him for a long time before he actually, actually joined us. I think it, it started sometime last year. We had a meeting with him. We basically spoke to him and told him about the vision of the club and he, he had to think about it because he had a lot of, he had a lot of projects that were in his pipeline he had a lot of things that he could have done and then he, i think what he bought into was the vision so i think we had to t talk to him and just tell him where we want to go what is our plan in, in the entire football development space and what exactly we want to do so i think he bought into that because when we sat down with him we had to make sure that our goals are aligned in terms of what it is that he wants to do. And I think for him, he's very much interested in giving back, given his career. I think he knows that um, he's been through a lot in terms of football. I think we all know his history, but what he wants to do now is to basically use that opportunity to bring back to the younger football players. So that's, I think that's what he really appreciated with us, and that's what he's going to do here. Uh, you, you, you've spoken about selling the vision to mm. him. Uh, perhaps Mr. Nyati, just uh, can briefly tell us about the vision of this uh, soccer academy and what it seeks to achieve. So we, we want to be we want to be the premier academy in the country. We want to be the place where football clubs come to if they want quality soccer players, and we want to brand ourselves as 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 a, as, 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 as basically the the. the the most successful academy in terms of production of players into the PSL and the national team. So our vision is basically to, and we do a lot of scouting, we go to many different places in the country. We've seen that there's a lot of unearthed talent in place in remote areas, the places we've been to where, they've, where they say they've never had any football scouts go to. So we see that there's actually a big gap there, that there are a lot of players that could be professional soccer players, but they're not aware of what it takes to become, to get into the PSL and, and things like that. So a lot of talent is wasted. We just want to make sure that we close that gap between all these amateur football players that don't know what it, what it is that they need to do in their daily lives. Because you can't wake up at the age of 23 and say you want to be a soccer player. So what we want to do, we want, to under, want these boys to understand what it takes, that, that football needs to be a daily thing from a very young age if you want to actually make it into the PSL. So we, we want to make sure, make sure that we close that gap because you can see that there's a huge gap between professional football and development. The, the boys that are there, they're passionate about, about football, but they don't know what it takes to become a soccer player. So we want to basically put ourselves there, get ourselves in that position where people understand that you need to spend the time from a very young age. Um, you need to, so our boys know that it's soccer 
and education. That's what they do. That's what they do. They know that that's what it takes to become professional, and they spend their time doing that. And that's and that's all it takes. So we just want to. That's what we want to instill in this country. We see that there is a big gap in in amateur football. There's just just a lot of things that we can do and improve. There are lots of places in South Africa that no one goes to. No one goes to some of these remote villages. They'll never ever get to play for your development teams. They'll never find them. These Kesa Chiefs Juniors or any of these professional teams. They just don't know what it takes. So we want to close that gap and we can see that there's a huge space there that we can operate in. And I think bringing him is actually our way. He's, 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 because he's passionate about bringing back, um, that's, what he, that, that's the vision he bought into. He, he bought into that because he's been there, he knows what it takes and he wants to give, give back. And that's what we will achieve with, with him in the team. Mr. Nyati, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we wish uh, Talita Soccer Academy all the best and we hope you achieve your objectives. Thank you so much, sir.